We are going to breakfast across the street at Screen Door Restaurant. Uh, what is the name of this place? Screen Door. <laughs> Screen Door? Is this place cool or what? I don't know, it's our first time. It's our first time. First time? <laughs> so I'm doing a little interviews. <laughs> um, so it's your first time here? Yeah, and you've never eaten here either? No. Okay. This guy's eating here. <laughs> Have you, have you eaten here? <laughs> I live here. <laughs> what's your name? My name is Pasha. Pasha? Yeah, hey, what's your name? This is Stella. Are you guys eating at the screen door or no? Uh, yes, that's exactly where we're headed. So, have you eaten there before? Yeah. No. First time. First time? Okay. <laughs> How are you yourself? Yeah, we just got her from the shelter yesterday. So, this is the first time in the world, yeah. This is my first time. First time? Yeah. I love it. I, my first yeah. time. How about yourself? I love it, but, yeah. Okay. And what's, what's the best part of the screener? For me, it's just the reputation. I've heard so much about it. It was like, I've got to try it. The food is good. The food is, the food is good? Yeah, yeah, the food is good. And, and what's your favorite? Thing that you get oh, well, I wanted breakfast this morning. I yeah. woke up going, I'm gonna go have breakfast somewhere. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, so and how about yourself? Same. Did you want breakfast? Yeah, this morning? doesn't want breakfast. <laughs> Wait, I thought a lot of people were skipping breakfast. I was skipping breakfast except for this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, typically, I do. And now you're getting ready. Yeah, that's right. I'm that's hungry. Right. And I heard She's this really is the place to come if you're hungry. Yeah. She's really hungry. Uh, she's yeah. always hungry. <laughs> she's always hungry. Now, now, what's your favorite dish here? Oh. Well, I don't know yet, but I plan on having eggs of some sort. Yeah. And possibly bacon, because who doesn't love bacon? And how about yourself? I think the chicken and waffles. Don't they have those here? I don't know. Really? Like chicken do. and waffles? I think. If they don't, I'm going to ask them if they can make me come. <laughs> Now, what's the most hungry you've ever been? Uh, the most hungry I've ever been is usually in the morning after skipping a, a day of eating. In the morning. Yeah. Wait here at the screen door it can be a long time. It can be a long time, but honestly, it's really worth the wait because of the amount of food that you get. Each really? Each piece of chicken is cooked to perfection, and their waffles are spiced with the perfect amount of nutmeg, cinnamon, Maple syrup. Good stuff. What has been the best moments that you've had um, in the last four weeks here in Portland? Um, I actually just thought about um, when they shot Portlandia's episode called The Porch Light and everybody was waiting in line. The whole skit is about waiting in line for screen door. And, and then they close at two o'clock. So they open at about nine and close at two, and then they reopen at five for dinner. And in the skit, Fred Armisen is waiting at the porch light to eat at Screen Door Restaurant. And as soon as they finally call his name, the place is closed down and he has to come back the next day. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Grab a park. With oh, your eyes. Big. Oh, man. Way too big. Oh, man. So, what are we doing now? You're in a classic collection hat store on Hawthorne Boulevard in Southeast. The shoes are One of dirty. The longest standing shops here on the boulevard for the Avenue. And your eyes um, show hat. me you used to not be me. That's the most for smile I've ever seen. Country man, take your land, make your woman understand. Country man, take your land. Okay, here we go. Make We're having lunch. Let's see what it's like. It's a east side of Portland right now what's called the goat blocks because back in the day there was this rich farmer that had a bunch of goats and he took over 
this whole entire area. But then developers came in and they basically wanted to get rid of all the goats, but they kept the name. So it's called Goat Blocks. I'm a professional traveling man. <laughs> and I'm Meredith. <laughs> So we go upstairs to order. Okay. Is that what I'm filming? I think was. So bartender pull me something from the top shelf. Country man, take your land, make your woman understand. Here we are at Koshka, and we just met a new friend named Simon. Danny, nice to meet nice you. To meet How you, you doing? <laughs> Can you pass me some of that vodka? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We're <laughs> rushing out. <laughs> the Strovia. The Strovia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the vodka, but here, cheers. Thank cheers. you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the company that you're working with. So I'm starting out as a tour guide for Pull In By Mouth, and this is one of the stops on one of the tours. Um, it's my first time coming to this restaurant. I really like the, the layout. It's a, it was a surprise. I, I didn't, I come in, not, I came in not knowing what to expect at all. But um, yeah, I like the decorations. I like the kind of the open air. This is, I believe, a Mexican spot. Uh -huh. And uh, Tropical is part of this pod that's, um, called the ocean they have different kind of uh, food stands there uh -huh. okay. um, and then there's also uh, Provador foods which is like a market open market there's different there's they sell cheese they sell like meat oh, all really? kinds of different stuff <laughs> cool this is you yeah wow the human hearts He's good. No, it's just like, like, no, we're, we're, we're like, like, we don't judge each other, so we're friends, you know? You know what I mean? We like to have a good time, like, no, like, we're not worried that you're going to judge me, kind of friends. <laughs> I'm not stressed out about you, that's why you hang out with you. Yeah, we you never stress each other out. We stress never stress out, each other out. I'm like, you we don't, never stress you don't each stress other out. out. I'm like, I don't need that. Like, you know. And that's the people you hang out with in life. The Absolutely. people that don't stress you out. That's like who you hang out partners, with. Partners, you know, like your romantic if partners, they shouldn't stress, they stress you, out, you out. They shouldn't hang out with like you. Like your life partner shouldn't stress you out. Your life partner should not stress you out. No. And your best friend should not stress you out. Don't hang out exactly. with that person. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's not. It's not quite right. <laughs> but there are times that do come up. You know, in like friendships, relationships. Right? 
Or people have, have no, 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 no. People have issues and they need help, advice. There he goes. And there you go. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, hey. we have a straggler. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I knew it. I knew I wasn't an honored guest. Oh <laughs> How are you? Good. So we have Mark Marin visiting us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Winston. Um, when this Saturday, because Lulu always sits next to me, and then I sleep in. I might get a drink of water. I might get a little snack and then sleep some more early. Oh, Danny's been working so hard today. Danny, you have been filming a lot today. We have a lot to share with you guys. I can't wait. What have you been filming? Okay. <laughs> so our first course is the lentil soup. Our first course is the lentil soup, and we get to drink it from the bowl. Okay, so we just sip it because it's, it's a puree, right? Nice. Mm. Mm. It's very tasty. Our lentil soup. Oh, very it's nice. Really, really yeah. Good. What's up with you, Meredith? <laughs> this may be the next. Aren't you a soup super sewer? Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, they, they Meredith make, loves making soup and so do I. Yeah. I know. They love making the, soup. The, the one thing we have in common, and we give each other like, oh, do you put this spice in this soup? Like, we used to talk more about that. But. She makes a good beef soup. Yeah, yep. yep. It was gold. The second take was gold. Now we're good. All the shit I do is gold. If you're not going to capture it, go back to film school. Are you ready? <laughs> About a year ago, I bought a bunch of glasses. Eight months ago, I broke a pair of glasses. Six months ago, I put these ones on around the same time the Dahmer documentary came out. <laughs> and now I've been walking around like Jeffrey Dahmer. Has it changed your life? Like it changed Jeffrey Dahmer's life. <laughs> Hanging out next to me, you know what I mean? That's love. Dude, my cat loves me. Oh, oh no, no, I'm her mom. When I start packing for a trip, she like lays on my clothes and gets in my suitcase. She doesn't like it. <laughs> Sad. So good. He's not even yapping. <laughs> He's so good. He's not even. Paula, Paula. I trade him loves. not to bark. Uh, Please tell my friend Paula that he doesn't bark anymore. He's fucking with you today. Yeah, so it's a wind drop out of the door. Like, oh, I went through it. Meet new friends. This is it. Is he not the most sweetest guy in the world? He's sensitive. He's colorful. He, he's cute as fuck. All babies are cute. Except for the ugly ones. And I don't want to see the ugly ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. I oh, know. One time I was like, look at my beautiful CK baby. Joke. And I was like, oh my god. And I was joke. like, oh my god. I was like, I Louis, felt so bad. See the Louis C.K. joke over again. He's, well, he says something to the effect of, I hate looking at baby pictures. All babies are beautiful. Except for the ugly ones. And I don't want to look at the ugly ones. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Danny, you want me to interview you now? I'm gonna have to switch ass cushions. This thing has been working.